Hello and welcome to a tutorial which will show you how to install and set up the required tools to program the Raspberry Pi Pico on your Windows machine. I'm going to use Microsoft Visual Studio Code as my IDE of choice and I highly recommend that you do the same. This video will assume that you have none of these tools already installed. If you do, then feel free to skip that respective step. So, we are going to need quite a few things today before we start programming and building projects. We are going to need the ARM GCC compiler, the CMake software and Visual Studio Code extension, the C++ build tools for Visual Studio 2019, Python 3, Git, and finally Visual Studio Code. All the links you need are in the description. We will be using Git to download the Pico SDK and the example projects written by the Raspberry Pi Foundation. So firstly, we need to install the ARM GCC compiler. Go to their website, linked in the description, and download the major release. Install this software, and before you press finish, select the Add Path to Environment Variable checkbox. Next up is CMake. Download the 64-bit Windows installer and then open. Make sure to select the Add CMake to the system path for all users. Allow CMake to install. Now we're on to the C++ build components for Visual Studio 2019. You will have to scroll to the bottom of the VS Downloads page to find it. Download it and select the C++ build tools, then press install. These tools are quite large, and so they'll take some time to download and install. Don't be fooled by the magic of video editing. You may have to restart your computer after this is complete. I waited until after I'd installed each component before restarting mine. Now, we're halfway there. Next up is Python 3. Find and install the latest Python 3 release. In my case, it's 3.9.1, and when prompted in the installer, Select the Add Python 3.9 to Path checkbox and press Install. At the end of the installation, at the Setup was Successful page, you may have the option to remove the max path length. Do this when prompted. Now, let's get to Git. Download the 64-bit Windows installer and open it. A series of options will appear, but we will walk through them. First, choose where to install Git. Then select the default components then change the default editor. I use Notepad++, so I checked this. You can choose your preferred editor here. Next, let git decide the initial branch names, then allow git to run from the command line and third-party software. Use the default HTTPS transport backend, and then select the checkout as is and commit as is option to stop git converting anything. Use the Windows default console window, which is command prompt, then use the following default settings. Finally, select the enable experimental support to sudo consoles. And finally, we can finish installing Git. Before we progress, let's check that we have everything configured correctly and that it all works. We're going to use Git to download the, Pi, uh, the Pico SDK and the examples from the Pi Foundation. First, open a command prompt by searching for CMD in the Start menu. Then navigate to a directory where you can want to keep the files that we'll download. I created one previously and you use the CD command with the path of the folder we want to use. Then we use the following git commands. I'll repeat them in the description for your reference. git clone minus b master with the address of the pico sdk. Then change to the sdk directory using cd pico sdk 
Then use git submodule update init. And then back out of that directory with the cd dot dot command. Finally, download the example projects with the git clone minus b master command again with the URL to the uh, example Pico projects. Now we are done in this command prompt window. You can close it and open a developer command prompt by simply searching for it in the start menu. We need to navigate to our folder where we downloaded the files again using cd. Then we need to set the path to the Pico SDK. We use the set x Pico SDK path with the dot dot backslash dot dot backslash pico sdk command in quotation marks. Now to load this change we want to close this window and open another developer command prompt. The following commands will allow us to build the example projects from the command line. First navigate to the pico examples folder with the cd pico examples command then make a folder for all the build files with make directory build. Then enter this folder and use the following two commands to start the build process. cmake minus g nmake maker files dot dot and then nmake. The build process will take a long time as it is building every example project that the Pi Foundation has made. However, you should see that they all build without errors, and if you enter the build directory with Windows Explorer, you will see that all of the separate folders for each project. Let's check to see if the Blink LED works is as, as intended. Find the Blink UF2 file, then connect your Pico over USB whilst pressing its boot select button. Simply drag and drop the UF2 file over to the Pico storage. It will reboot and then start blinking. Now that we know the toolchain has been set up correctly, we can install Visual Studio Code. Navigate to the website and hit download. Open Visual Studio Code by using the code command in the developer command prompt and navigate to the extensions panel, then search for the CMake Tools plugin. Press install. Now you need to select the gear icon in the bottom left of the window and select settings, then extensions, then find the CMake Tools section. Under the configure environment section, press add item, then add the Pico SDK path with the value dot dot backslash dot dot backslash pico sdk. Scroll down further then find preferred generators setting, open the settings.json file and add the following in quotes n make maker files. Save and close this file. That should be all the configuration required. Now open the folder containing the pico examples and allow the project to set up. It might ask you to select a compiler at the top of the window. If it does, select the GCC for ARM option. If it doesn't, then click on the No Kit Selected option on the bottom blue bar. Select the GCC for ARM compiler here. Now we can use the Build button just next to it to build the examples again and upload them to the board. If you do this again with the Blink program, your Pico will be flashing again. Hopefully this video has helped you to set up Visual Studio Code for programming the Pico on a Windows machine. Thank you for watching, and if this video has been helpful, then please consider liking and subscribing. Stay tuned for more projects with the Pico.